I come into King's Cross and then travel around London. Change onto the Victoria Line. Waterloo. Come off to Russell Square. I used to probably about once every three weeks. We're now beginning to log transportation behaviour using smart cards, essentially. We have a very large data set, which comes from the Oyster Card system, which is the swipe card that you charge up to travel on all public transport in central London. We've been thinking of ways where we, with NTFL and our research partners, can begin to sort of extract some interesting journey patterns from that wealth of data. For each day, we had about four million of those uh, uh, movements, so to say. Now we collect this and we have very strong safeguards in place to make sure that our customer identities are protected. It was a wonderful case for us to really understand how a complex system looks like in a big city like London. What visualization allows us to do is to map out very complex patterns on a massive scale in a way that's more easily interpretable by human beings. A big city like London they don't have only one single main station, so to say, where everybody, you know, is kind of the, the, the main hub for the whole city. What we have is a several, several different centers. But then there's stations around it which make the, the, what we call polycenter. Polycenter is like, uh, let's say, like sun, there's the sun and then the planets, okay? So the same thing, there's a, a main station that is the, the, the biggest station and then there's a little stations around it. We can see very clearly the main polycenters or hubs in the city, which we assumed before, but now we know for sure using this data that they exist and where they are and how they interact with each other. And so we have the ability to actually make good inferences about how congestion patterns will change in that sense. If the central line were to go down, then people on the central line uh, would divert onto the, uh, let's say, the northern line or the uh, circle and uh, and the Hammersmith and District line at uh, places like Liverpool Street, for example, um, and that would overcrowd those lines. It's easy to find these kind of these big disruptions. Now we're trying to zero in on the smaller ones and see if we can understand how, you know, the closure of maybe Aldgate might impact the stations around it, because that will help TFL plan for what to do when there's a significant but temporary and unplanned closure because of an emergency. I think there is a real, real sense in which we might be able to uh, make really good progress in thinking about the livability of cities and how we can change cities for the better using data of this kind. Where these polycenters are located is uh, important, has implications for uh, government, TFL, businesses and society in general. This whole breadth of knowledge and expertise is something that we are very excited to be, to be working with UCL on. All these questions, at the end, ultimate uh, goal in doing all this uh, uh, research is to try to see whether we can improve people's lives.